The fact that you may have sunbathed upon billions of bleached bones crushed between the jaws of a sea creature is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. Now it is hard to hate a white hot sand beach. After all, it is the quintessential ingredient in a tropical vacation. I mean, what's better than some soft sand between your toes as you throw a blanket down and doze the day away? And the fact that sand is soft is interesting because usually it's, it's just crushed rock. And while all sand seems similar, it can be made in a lot of different ways. It can be created by windswept rocks in a desert or eroded by water in a river. It can be smashed by waves crashing on a shore. And on beaches, it's not uncommon that the remains of coral and creatures with shells make up some of that sand as well. They can get washed ashore and ground down by the waves and eventually become indistinguishable parts of the sandy beach. But ultimately, almost all beaches have one thing in common, and that's that while they may have other parts of them, they are primarily made of ground down rock. Your typical brown sandy beaches are quartz, your black sand beaches are volcanic rock. The pink sand beaches of Bermuda are also quartz, but plankton make them them pink. Kind of like how flamingos become pink in a way, I guess. But you tell the white sandy beaches of Hawaii that they need rock to make sand and they will tell you beaches please. You see, Hawaii is just made of volcanic rock and volcanic rock makes black sandy beaches, but Hawaii has beautiful white sand beaches and where do they come from? Well, the answer is a kind of shitty. Literally. And what I'm about to tell you is going to sound pretty fishy, but it's true. Around Hawaii, there's a fish called a parrotfish, which gets its name because it has a beak like a parrot. And the parrotfish uses that beak to scrape algae off of the skeletal remains of dead coral. And when it does that, it swallows chunks of coral skeleton in the process. Then the fish's stomach grinds it up and, uh, well, you probably guessed it shit sand. You thought a little sand in your bathing suit was bad. Now one of these fish can produce hundreds of pounds of sand a year and that is a crap load. So now you've got a crap load of fish that have been crapping out a crap load of sand for a crap load of years and and pretty soon Hawaii ends up with beautiful white sandy beaches and you end up with romantic Hawaii honeymoon pictures where you're rolling around in parrotfish poop. And the fact that peaceful pristine pigmentless places in the Pacific were provided by parrotfish poop, well that is pretty mind-boggling.